Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Um, so, today's been a long day. Uh, sort of. Well, it has been. I got up at 7 in the morning to play tennis um, for the school again. And, um, and uh, it could... Let's just put it this way, it could have gone better. Um, I mean, so what the turn basically was, was a, an individual based tournament that you were entered in for your school. So the most students who, so you could win both for in, you individually and for the school. Um, so, you could, so like the school with the most points, you know, most, who got the most players to the final or semifinal or whatever, uh, got the trophy for the school. Or no, I think it was, did the best in all like, uh, the both categories, so like, uh, double, doubles and singles. So the top two players from each team played singles, and then the top two doubles teams played, and then, the doubles, the other two doubles teams, because the singles players can't play doubles, so the, the the top two doubles teams, besides the people who play singles, that are playing singles in the tournament, uh, play doubles. So I played doubles since I'm in the doubles three position as well as the single. I didn't make the singles cup because I play singles four, and um, but I did make the doubles cup because I. Because our two singles players who are playing in the tournament also play singles one. So, but because they play singles in the tournament, they can't play doubles two. So, they, um, I was one of the people in the doubles. Uh, and my partner and I did not do so, so well. Um, okay, let me get this lit up first. And if you guys can't already tell, I'm having a Blanco 9 and Lancero. Um, so, now this is going to sound really, I don't know if it sounds really bad on my part, but me and my doubles partner did not get along very well today. <laughs> and um, I really... Well, he's not going to watch these vlogs. I really don't enjoy playing with him in particular. Because while he's a player who can hit hard, and hit it very hard, when he wants to, or when he actually, from problem is he wants to all the time. Uh, he And that means he's very kind of inconsistent. I mean, well, actually not kind of inconsistent, he's very inconsistent. <laughs> um, and he doesn't make a lot of, basically he doesn't make a lot of shots, or he makes, I mean, the wrong shot in doubles, I'm fine with, because he's, this is his first year playing doubles. So if he forgets that if you go up the line, it's a bad idea, because there's a guy right there, ready to kill me. <laughs> um... And then, uh, but just the amount of shots he was hit. I mean, I missed during, it was, you know, you played two matches. First match, I didn't, I mean, I played okay. I didn't play exceptionally well. Um, I missed uh, a few easy volleys and like that I'm not used to missing. Like I, I've, like I've, I've made that shot like nine out of 10 times. And like this, it happened to be today that I missed like three in a row. <laughs> So I had no idea what was going on. But the uh, second match, I mean, I was playing better. Um, but we just got into so many disagreements just because he doesn't understand the idea of just rolling the ball back. I mean, just getting the ball back is making, just making another ball just to make them play another shot. And so... Um, and then 
he got upset that I was apparently. Uh, this is gonna sound like me, you know. It it's just something that I have to kind of clear get off my chest. It's, it it just it was just really kind of bad. And I mean, I shouldn't really be arguing with him. I mean, I actually didn't argue with him, but I kind of just walked away, and I kind of um. I'm kind of most upset that it actually took away from my focus during the match, that I focused too much on the fact that we weren't getting along. But. Um, you know, I double faulted a lot. Uh, a whole lot. I mean, I double fault occasionally. You know, once or twice per match. Um, today, I double faulted like once or twice each match. He double faulted a lot. And then... I think it's more, yeah, so he just, he, and then, he, you know, the fact that he, he, he said that I was trying to take a lot of shots that, you know, he supposedly had, and it was in, it was late in the match, and I'm like, well, I got to step up and try to get, take more balls and prevent him from, from basically getting them, because if he's only going to make the shot a quarter of the time, and I know that I can make the shot 75% of the time, then I should take the shot. So even though it's technically me being a quote-unquote ball hog, but I basically have to be uh, in order to, to... in order to basically uh, have us give you know the potential to win. And uh, it just wasn't good. So it it's really just comes down to I just can't. And like even one of the coaches was actually talking to me about that, and he basically said like I, you know, you know you can I can play, you know, you know my best tennis out there, but like I need somebody you know in doubles you need somebody to back you up so. And uh, the coach was even saying to me, like, he, you know, my partner wasn't really there to, to back me up, which the thing is, going in, I knew that. Like, I, I knew that he had, he's very inconsistent. So I knew, like, in order for us to win as a doubles team, I need to play, like, out of my mind. Like, like beyond, like, like, in order for us to win, like, I need to play insanely well like I need to make like every return because he misses 95% of his so I gotta make 95% of mine <laughs> so and it's um I mean the fact that even the coach noticed it was just it, it's just frustrating it's it's really is <laughs> Uh, especially because, like, the teams we lost to, like, the players, players were good, but, like, they weren't, like, like, out of the world, you know, out of this world good. Like, I would beat them. Like, like playing singles, I would beat them. Like, so it wasn't like, like, we were, like, completely outclassed. It was like, like, had we been, uh, I mean, the thing is, I'm frustrated that I, I know that I could have won, or that we could have won. I'm frustrated that um, my partner wasn't really there to, to back me up when I needed him to be. And I'm also frustrated that when, that even though I knew that he wouldn't be, that... You know, I'm frustrated with myself because I know, because I knew going in that I needed to play out of my mind to for us to win. Because I had to, not to say pull his weight, but I had to carry a lot of the weight on me to to potentially win the match. And I'm frustrated that I couldn't do it, but you know, you can only. 
I'm not I'm not good enough of a player to to basically do that. I mean, I need I need a solid partner to 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 help out. And now I, and I made it my fair share of mistakes too on the court. So, but I mean, well, I mean I made a few on for forced errors that I should have been able to get back. But it was also a lot of you know I at least made shots. You know, and they had they had to earn the points off me, and they earned a good amount of points off off me, but. It was just, it was a frustrating day, <laughs> and, you know, he's going to call me out on both it on the court, and like, dude, make some, make some shots, you know, <laughs> make the ball over the net, or try not to hit the back fence before the ball bounces, once. so, I mean, hitting, you know, blasting the ball at 80 miles an hour is fine, you know, once in a while if you can make it in, but doing it every time off a shot that you have no business hitting that hard off of, then, uh, then that's kind of ridiculous. So, but, it is what it is. It, it's happened, it's over. That's kind of my mini rant. Sorry that you guys had to listen to that, but I thought I'd just let you guys in on kind of what it was kind of like today. <laughs> but there is some good news. The computer is, I'd say, 60 to 70% done. I've started the wiring. I, I've got the CPU cooler in. I got the motherboard in properly this time. The backplate, the... Um, the hard drive, all the drives are wired in already. The hard drive wired in, theoretically, because I did have to do, a, I had to refinagle really these wires, so if I damage them, that might be a problem, but hopefully I didn't damage the wires. If I damaged wires, I have to get new wires. Let's hope that I didn't. But, uh, so I got a lot of that wired in. I just got to put in the video card, which shouldn't be too hard. I mean, I, I put it in, and then I realized that I had to put in the CPU cooler first. So I took the video card out and put it in the CPU cooler, but it's not going to be that big of a deal to put it put it in. Um, so so far so good. I mean, so now let's get on to reading your comments. Uh, let's see where is it? Uh, so the Gloria, uh, no, um, if you grab him, nineteen ninety said, well, I sort of understand. Uh, this is on the simplifying. Uh, th this is in response to the comment that I made, uh, the, the, the answer that I gave yesterday in yesterday's vlog to his question about the relationship, uh, correlation between, you know, A is to whatever as B is to whatever. So, uh, he says, well, I sort of understand what you were getting at, and I was wondering, when you are going to get around to actually giving me an example of what the hell that silliness, not your explanation, meant. Um, it'd be like, I'd be like staring at the teacher while thinking, oh, shut the fuck up. Another useless fucked up waste of what, of what that shit is actually going to do for me when I get older. And then I'd be like, somebody really needs to get up and bitch slap this bitch for this crap. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, you see this a lot of times in elementary schools, and it, it sort of goes along the, like I said, it sort of goes along the lines of pattern recognition and, and problem solving that way. It's sort of along the same lines as that. Like, it's mostly, or it should pr probably mostly be taught in elementary schools, the subject. It is reviewed, like in high school they do review it because of the SATs. Um, and that's only because this is on the SATs and it's actually on, I think it's on IQ tests too.
but the reason is is just basically um see when would you use it in the real world um let's see when would you use it in the real world so um That's a good question. Where we... Give me a second. Um, so, um, hmm. I'm actually going to need to think about this. I will hopefully have an answer for you in the next vlog because. I do know that you do use it. I'm just cuz I know that like I use this kind of thought process a lot. Um but it's just for some reason blanking on me when I've used it. <laughs> like I know I've used it. I just I'm blanking on when and and what I was doing when I did. So let me get back to you on that. Uh hopefully We'll get back to you in the next vlog about that. And hopefully I'll also get back with a completed computer. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Um, and then he also says on my vlog last night, he says, So you stayed home instead of going out, huh? Probably a good idea if you had a busy Saturday staring you in the face. But I was happy to see this video. Okay, I'm happy to see any video of yours. Gives me something to watch and enjoy. And you answered the goth question, I I see. I didn't figure you for the goth type. Yes. Uh, one of the things you guys don't get to see, which comes at a consequence of this video, is what I do, what I look like when I'm not, when I'm actually going out or something like that. You guys basically get to see me in my just lounging or tennis clothes or, or something like that, which I do have a lot of clothes that are nice that I could go out in. Like, some of you have seen my hat, my glasses, and my, um, um, or... And also, you guys might, like, if you see my older videos, like, I just recently really got into it, because it, I've realized that I've always been interested in, like, the stuff that most goths are interested in. I just never realized that, like, the, the quick, well, a lot of it was confidence, and not really feeling confident looking like that. And then, even though I wanted to, a second thing was um, basically, I didn't realize I was a goth until, like, I found, or, I found out that, um, or I didn't realize that I was into the goth subculture until I realized that all of this stuff that I like falls <laughs> into this subculture. I'm like, ah. Oh. <laughs> and also, another reason why is because the, there's a bunch of subgenres in the goth subculture that you fall into in, in terms of style of how you look and um, the thing, kind that I fall into the reason why you don't often see me or you probably won't see me with any makeup or anything is because I fall into what's called the corporate goth which is or or I don't know there's a casual goth too I fall into those categories 
mostly because um, if I did look like that, I would get fired from my job. So, or I think I would. Um, so there's that reason. <laughs> But as I delve, you guys will notice progressively as I delve more into it, I'm kind of, I'm still in the early stages of it. And I'm kind of trying to tell, because it really does interest me and I really do like the look, so I'm slowly delving into it. So you will see that progressively grow throughout the sequence of videos. Because um, also I'm trying to get them to not notice... <laughs> at work so I'm kinda of doing it slowly so it's not like a big oh what the hell <laughs> you know moment for them so yes I, I am very interested in that but he says but that's okay because I think goth is sort of an interesting way in and of itself or in itself so yeah it is it, it's really it's, it, it is really interesting and I do like you know the very kind of like I'm a basically every like ninety percent of the aspects of, of the gothic subculture I'm very very interested in. And I noticed you responded likewise to Laglory Seven's question about other cigars. Yeah, I'd like to see you take on the Romeo Six by Fifty Four Toro too. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. Um, certainly. I mean. I mean, I'm loving these Blanco 9 Lanceros. I mean, if you guys haven't gotten a chance to try them, uh, I think Atlantic Cigars, I definitely go through Atlantic because they're, I've had very good, well, let's put it this way, I've had better experiences with Atlantic than I've had with most, uh, well, especially Thompson. <laughs> um, actually, Thompson is not bad, but they're, they're Atlantic, when I deal with them, they feel more like a mom and pop store than anything versus when I deal with Thompson, I feel it's more corporate, which like, and, and also that's the way I feel about also, uh, Tampa humidor. If you deal with them at all, I also feel like that's a, when I'm talking to them, I feel like it's more like a mom and pop store than anything. Uh, just because it's very, it's very, like personal the way they interact with you versus Thompson. I feel like it's very professional and you could definitely see that they're trying to push different promotions on you versus when I call, when I call, I called uh, Tampa humidor um, a few weeks ago and you no, know, we're just like talking about the, the problem that I was having and they're like, Oh yeah, we'll just, we'll fix it for you. No problem. And then, you know, a couple, you know, a couple issues. Uh, and then I actually ended up dealing with the card issue, which was more an issue of just um, when I bought all the computer parts, they deactivated my card because they thought somebody stole my card because I spent a lot of money at, at once. And uh, they deactivated my card so it wouldn't go through it at uh, Tampa Humidor. So, when I called them back a few days later, um, the same person answered the phone, like, and she, she knew me right off the bat, she was, or she knew me, like, like, she knew exactly, like, she remembered me from a couple of days ago, like, calling about the card, and she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, we can work that out here, I'll bring right back up your order, so, like, this is awesome, <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's small enough where, I mean, I don't, I haven't been, to, uh, they do have a shop in Tampa, so, I haven't been there, but, like, I, from what I, I'm hearing, like, Good thing. Same thing with Atlantic when I, I deal with um, them. Uh, it feels the same way. Whereas Thompson feels like, you know, they got like the cigar club, which I'm a part of. And whenever, I mean, you could definitely tell that they push that on you and like get, trying to get, like, if you want to cancel it, they'll do everything to try to convince you not to cancel it. And uh, it's, it's definitely the, corporate thing it definitely reminds me of my work which I hate the corporate side of my job so
And then there's gas stations also going corporate in this. Not like me too. Because <laughs> then they have all like these, oh, you got points on this card, this rewards card. Are you interested? No. Are you sure? No. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> it's a gas station. Like, and then that's, that's another. This is going to be a ranty blog. There's a gas station down the street that I buy like Starbucks, like coffee, double, you know, espresso shots from. Um, or they have like they have the canned Starbucks with a double shot of espresso in it. And every time they're like, do you have a speedy rewards card? I'm like, well, I technically do, but I want to get in and out. <laughs> I don't want to be showing my card. And it's like, it's a gas station. I don't want to sit there all day. I want to get out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, especially if I'm running late, I want to just get out the door. <laughs> but then they insist on giving you one, so it, it's just, and the same thing with sports story, so it's, yeah, oh yeah, I got on this ramp uh, just because of where to get these, so, yeah, um, Tampa Humidor uh, doesn't carry these, but I think they should, but Atlantic does, and Atlantic's a pretty good company. If, uh, I recommend Atlantic very highly, or Tampa Humidor. Um, he says, sounds like you, it sounds like you got lucky with being able to make use of those screws. Uh, yeah, I did, and then also, like, to get these wires to fit, to get, the wires wouldn't fit in the connector, or, like, this, these there's one connector, there's one wire that needed to be connected to another wire through these connect, connections. The connection, it was like the plastic was too big. And then also it was very flimsy, the connector, so it was very easy that they wiggled around. So, um, I mean, they were rigid, but they also like oscillated up and down. Like, it, it's weird. You kind of have to see it. So, I kind of improvised. I used a hammer to get them together. But also, I, like, shaved using, like, a, a box cutter the, some of the plastic off so that way I could get it in. So, yeah, it's a lot of um, kind of improvising at this point. And he says, sound, you, he says, uh, you ought to do a putting together, putting it together video for us. Um... You know what? If 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 I if this was one of my computers that I I uh, if this wasn't my first computer I've ever built, I might. But this is a lot of um just something that I gotta focus on right now. And and, and if, like if I do this again, which I probably will, not like this is like an Uber supercomputer like what I spent on this is more than what my car valued at so like this will like no matter what you basically whatever you can imagine for a computer to do this computer can do it <laughs> like that's what I've designed it to do like this will this is like the be all end all computer um, but I might build one for like my mother or something like that because she needs a desktop and I think I can build her a nice one um for for fun. Um so I might do that. You know, do do a very basic computer because this is anything but basic. It's got thirty two gigabytes of memory. Oh uh, no, 36 gigabytes memory because including the video card. The video card um, can do 4K. Um, the mother, the it's an eight. It has an eight core processor, which is like this new latest thing, um, which is like really high end, like extreme. You know, for extreme gaming, um, it has a six terabyte hard drive. You know, four disk drives. It, it's it's anything but basic. <laughs> so it's 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 and it's like I said, it's a lot of like for this for me, it's a lot of like 
doing things and then realizing that I screwed up, undoing them, fixing them, doing it again. Like I had to put in the CPU cooler twice because apparently there's like a thermal grease that you need to put between the processor and the and the conductor, um, just so that way more heat transfers. I didn't put that in the first time, so I had to like take it out, put the grease in, put it back on. So it was fun, not really. So so it's a lot of. I will, when I finish putting it all together, and I get everything installed on it, I will take the panel off so that I can show you what it looks like inside, which is going to be an absolute and utter mess because the wiring job that I did is absolutely horrible. I don't know, you can't make odds and ends of where each wire is going. So, but, because there's a lot of wires. Um, so I won't do a putting it together for you, but I will. I will just show you like what encompasses it, because putting it together would just be, you know, on top of filming it, um, and um, and um, filming it, and then with all the screw ups and how long it takes, it's a lot of editing involved, and then. Um, I mean, if you guys really want to see it, but it's kind of a little late now because I got most of it together already, but. It's definitely just like a little. I don't know. It's, it's, <laughs> right now my, I mean, my apartment doesn't have any trash, but, well, it has trash on the computer, but it, it's just kind of like a mess of wires and stuff over there, so. <laughs> Um, and, and not to worry, I'd, and he says also, um, thanks for the invite to Boston. I think LaGloria 7 is a little closer to you. He's in Pennsylvania. Um, yeah, I mean, if you guys are in Boston, shoot me an email. Uh, we'll get together. Uh, we'll have some cigars. Lord knows I have plenty. Actually, no, I don't have, I have enough for me. <laughs> um. I don't need a, uh, I mean, I did think at one point that I was going to do a giant cigar order, and to some extent I did order more than I've ever had, which is like two and a half boxes, but uh, that's, it's kind of enough, for, that, for now that's enough for me, in terms of how much I have. <laughs> and um, and he says not to worry I don't know when exactly you read and answer your emails but I never send so many that it takes you away, that it takes you away from the times you need to make your vlogs or get much needed sleep for the next day so you'll be well rested enough to come home and make another and post make and post another video <laughs> uh yeah, I mean, if you guys want to email me, I'll try to be an email or anything. Um, uh, your videos beat anything that's on TV, hands down. Uh, th thank you so much. I, uh, I mean, I will admit that there's a lot of crap on TV, but <laughs> um, I mean, some of the stuff is very good. I mean, um, the problem is I'm behind on a lot of TV shows that I, I used to watch, so. <laughs> It's like I haven't been watching them. Like, uh, I'm. I don't know if you guys know the show Arrow. I, I watched that. I watched. I used to watch Sleeping Hollow a lot, but I fell behind on that. Fell behind on Arrow. So, behind on a lot of, of TV. So, like I said, I don't often turn my TV on, <laughs> but I'm mostly on the computer. Um, your videos beat anything that's on T. Uh, so thank you so much. Uh, that that means a lot. I mean, <laughs> you guys drive me in. You guys compliment me so much. I'm like I don't deserve like that much, like praise. Like, like I said, like what it what. It's like this. Like I said like I'm. 
it's one of those things like I don't feel like I deserve that because like I, I work like I'm not working that hard. Like it, it's not that hard for me to like answer your questions, <laughs> like or, and respond to your comments and. and and like, is this like I said? I'm recording on my webcam. <laughs> it's not so. It, it, it and, and he says that's why we watch. Well, that's why I watch. Thank you so much for watching, though. And thank you, Laglorious Seven. Thank you, Romeo Rich. Thank you, uh, thank you, Mark, uh, Rory, Chris. Thank you guys for watching. And and. And thank you all, you all you guys that I don't, you know, even though I don't see it in the comments, I know you guys are watching, and, and, and thank you so much um, for it. I mean, it means that, you know, you know, you guys are the reason why I do these vlogs. Like, I, if I, if nobody was watching, I wouldn't do this. Um, he says, and he says, uh, well, before this turns into a full manuscript of sorts of comments, or it starts to look like I'm in competition with Rory and his lengthy comments, <laughs> I just say, as always, thank you for the newest, again, have a great Saturday evening and a restful Sunday, Mark. Um, Sunday won't be restful. <laughs> Um, tomorrow I work at 8 in the morning, uh, giving a tennis lesson. Luckily I just won, but, and then I gotta cover a pool, fix a bathroom, clean the apartment for potential guests, and hopefully get a desk built, finish the computer. <laughs> Big day tomorrow. <laughs> But luckily, um, also today, I forgot to mention, it is the end of the fall season for tennis, so it's no more matches for the rest of the fall, which I'm kind of excited about, just because I kind of like in October, it's kind of the time that I, I stop enjoying playing outside. At least, well, tennis-wise. I enjoy being outside in October, just because October is like my favorite month of the year. Uh, actually, it is my favorite month of the year, with January being a close second. But it it just it get, gets too windy, and then out there in shorts and a t-shirt is cold. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, wish I had ended this this fall season on a higher note, but what can you do? Um, then uh, Rory says. Um, uh well, he and also Rory, I I did read your comment uh, beforehand. <laughs> did your like um bracket? I forget what these print. Wait, no, these aren't print. Yeah, these are parentheses. Why I'm not? Why I don't want to be an English teacher? <laughs> why are oh why are all your sentences in parentheses? <laughs> This <laughs> is something that just oddly that I noticed. Uh, well, we know that y you know you decided to what you decided to do last night. Stay home and be responsible. Now, if only more people would do that, there might be less tragedies. Uh, yeah, but unfortunately, not a lot of people my age are that responsible. I've noticed, and I'm a lot less responsible than I make my than than you think. Believe it or not, I'm horrible with um, waking up in the morning and like being on time to things. Like people know to like to add like ten to fifteen minutes. Like whenever I say I'll show up, they add ten to fifteen minutes onto that, and that's when I usually show up. Um, except for like tennis lessons, which I'm not usually late to, or if I'm late, I'm late by a minute. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. I'm, my time management skills are very lacking. So, I gotta get better on that. Mm. 
everything's burning. Um, to the point, actually, to the like, I'm so bad at waking up in the morning to the point where, like, I have a very, I'm very technically skilled. Like, I can build a lot of things. <laughs> um, to the point, I even considering making myself like this, like weird, like Rube Goldberg alarm clock that. Would be pretty. Well, it would have been pretty cool. It was kind of ridiculous, though. It was kind of just like a thought, you know, an afterthought. I thought about maybe like sticking pistons under my bed. That would elevate my bed to slowly roll myself out of bed. Because <laughs> I am not a very big morning person. Because I'm a I'm a very big night owl. That's why all these vlogs also go up very late. And oh my god, this vlog is 40 minutes long. But that's fine. I hope you guys don't mind tuning in for the extra long vlog. And I was like, sorry for the rants that I've, I've said through it, but it's been one of those days. <laughs> yeah, and actually, funny story. I just, um, I don't, luckily, well, not a lot of people from the tennis scene watch these vlogs. I don't think any of them do. So that's pretty good. Um,. Um, the, what was it? Yeah, I was just actually, there was somebody who was on the team last year that I, I knew who was incredibly irresponsible, um, with, he parties a lot, like, he's one of those, and I mean, I, I, I won't bullshit in terms of, you know, Things like, do I enjoy, you know, drinking? Yes. Yes, I do. Um, to an extent. I'm not one of those people who likes to, but I'm not the type to drink to get drunk. Well, I have gotten drunk occasionally, but not as much as you'd think most college students do. <laughs> um, I'm more of a one or two drinks and I'm set. Um, because I don't drink for, I mean... Getting a buzz is part of it, but I also enjoy the taste of a lot of, like, I'm a Scotch guy, so, I, you know, I like, you know, Glen Fittage, um, and Glen Morangy and, and things like that, so, um, but, no, this, this, this guy loves to drink, and we all, we're all different types of drunks, like, when I drink really heavily, I'm the kind of person who will look sober up until the, like, the point where I go to bed or pass out, <laughs> which I've never passed out. I've gone to, like, I've, the more I drink, the more mellow I get, and the more, I don't know, of a party pooper I get, I, I'm like, <laughs> I'm more like, like, guys, we should, like, I'll get drunk and I'll be like, guys, I think we should turn the music down. We don't want to disturb the neighbors. I've literally said that. <laughs> At like a party because they were playing. We were outdoors and it was late, and they were playing the music. Uh, guys, I think we should turn the music down. It, it's it's we don't want to disturb the neighbors. We don't want you know security showing up. So yeah, I'm kind of the very mellow drunk, <laughs> whereas he, he he's a very up in your face. I'm more manly than you kind of person. So. Which was quite funny. He just got his ass. In the book. He tried that with somebody who was like a good foot taller than him, apparently, and a good fifty pounds heavier with than him. He got what was coming to him. So it was. It's kind of. I mean, I feel bad for him, but at the, like. I somewhat feel bad for him to some extent. I don't. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, it's dangerous. It, it, alcohol is a dangerous substance. <laughs> um, and while having a good time, while I'm all for having a good time, it should be done responsibly. Yes. Um, <laughs> yes, incredibly so. Especially, especially at parties and. Things along those lines, as I've just told you with that. Uh, 
Yeah. It doesn't help that he's yeah he's very on his own. He's very even sober. He's kind of feels like he's on top of the world and getting the castle. And then when he gets drunk, it's even worse. So, um, yeah, it's yeah it's you find a mix like when you hit. I feel like when you're in your twenties. Like I am, is very polarizing with your with res, you know responses to certain things. Like you find some people who hit their twenties and will be incredibly irresponsible, and then you find some people in their twenties that are incredibly responsible for their age. So it's it's very I don't know. I just find the twenties a fun you know. In the you know twenties are a funny period of time, <laughs> at least so far. Um, and he says, so w- when you did clarify that it was a goth event and shared how you were, you were into that, I was like, that's cool. I used to follow a goth channel on here a few years ago whose first cigar video caught my attention. His name was Arson Alex. Now he's Acid Alex. Pretty cool guy. I mean, yeah, I do actually do watch a lot of goth channels on YouTube uh, and cigar channels. Um, I thought about doing this. This stuff, stuff that goes around on goth channels that I'm thinking of bringing to this channel. It, it's a lot of tag videos. I don't know if you've any, ever seen that, but it's it's basically like this like default qu- like questions that you know I answer. So, I don't know, I, I thought that would be very interesting to do with a cigar, so I might do one later this week. Um, have fun ex- assembling y- your new computer, it sounds wicked. <laughs> Whenever somebody says wicked in there, I'm like, like, are you from Boston? Because <laughs> for some reason, that's like the stereotypical... Thing that Bostonians say. <laughs> um, I'm noticing that as I click to underwatch your videos, I'm seeing a lot of Wizard of Oz recommendations. I wonder why that is. Um, actually, believe it or not, I, the ads that you see and the suggestions that you see on on your actually, you probably know this. That they they, they 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 for people who don't, they tailor your your video suggestions based on what you typically watch and they also target ads based on what you typically watch so what i typically get for like if i find an ad on youtube like if i'm watching a video and an ad comes up usually i'll either find like a computer parts ad or a tennis ad or something like that or a horror movie or something like that you know uh, i don't see you know um yeah, so it's it's usually tailored to you. Um anyway, if all goes as planned, my internet service should be back on uh on sometime Monday so I can be at home now to see if you posted something later that evening. Uh, I really want to see that cigar smoking contest game you you mentioned. If you're planning on doing a video of that, it sounds like you already have some good stick you want to try. Hope they don't disappoint. Uh, should I smoke this? Did a series on Halloween themed cigars, which is cool. You should check those out. I I will. I I am. Um. I definitely yeah. I'll definitely check out Halloween themed cigars. Uh, for this one, it's not really a contest. It's more just. You know, you know, I smoke during my movie reviews. Well, uh, since I'm doing the live stream, I'm going to be smoking cigars during it because I enjoy, you know, pairing cigars with movies. And um, so I figured, you know, if I'm going to be smoking the entire time, why don't I, for every cigar I smoke, donate to, you know, donate a certain amount of money to charity? And that's what I'm trying to. I also encourage you guys to, you know, if you guys want to, you know, play along. Uh, the cigars I have to, to do it with, since I, I won't have the Romeo in time or any of the others that I mentioned 
especially not the His Majesty's Reserve or the other really expensive one because that's ridiculous and I don't have the time to, or money to spend on a cigar that much. Um, but it's mostly I'm going to be smoking the Black O'Neill and the Lancero, um, the, the New World uh, in Natural, and the Gurkha Ghost, which I have up there as well. So I'll be smoking those for the live streams. Just for the time being, I probably will do a. I know what, I will have a Romeo. Uh, I I'm actually gonna try to find them soon. Uh, practically probably right after I stop this vlog. Um, and not to worry if I if I do a video reply to you and email it, I will either send it through to you at your channel or post it publicly. But rest assured, I will not email you a hundred times a day. I'm a friend, not an obsessed stalker. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I hope your match game went well. As you heard earlier in the vlog, it did not go well. <laughs> he says, toodles for now. Uh, yeah. Um, for some reason, you just reminded me of this. Uh, but uh, thank you, Rory. And oh yeah, F you grad... Uh, 1990, your channel will be linked in the description down below as well. Um, but you remind, or you remind me of this, this email that I keep getting. It's not, it has nothing pertaining to cigars, but it's, it, I find it so funny. I, I got them ever since I turned 20. Uh, it's, it's a global life insurance, it, and it always starts with a tag with a your subject line. If you died tomorrow, I'm like, well, thanks for that. <laughs> I'm like, jeez. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm like, I didn't, I just turned 20, I didn't turn 80. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so I, I find that pretty, pretty hilarious that I keep getting that email. If you die tomorrow, like, like that's a, that's a great email to wake up to in the morning. It's like, if you die tomorrow. <laughs> it's like, well, my day's starting off on a low note. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's pretty funny. Oh, oh yeah, I've got to update you guys on that stupid, uh, it's called My Playbook, it's like basically a rant on, you know, on drugs and alcohol and drugs and fun stuff like that, um, like drug education for athletes, which is no different than the drug education I got in middle school. Except I've now heard that same spiel definitely in the double digits, so I think I've got it, but it was hilarious. You know, the smoking thing, like, there's no safe alternative to cigarettes. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Um, there's no, like, completely safe alternative, but there is safer alternatives. <laughs> um, and then we had to do one on sexual harassment on campus, which has gotten me thinking on a lot of things, which I know this is going to make the vlog run really late, but one of them is that uh, there's a lot of things going around like uh, if, you know, a woman is drunk, she can't consent. Well, that goes both ways. Uh, most of the time, if you're at a party and that happens... Then uh, also the guy's drunk too, so technically the guy can't consent. So either way, it, it can go. By your logic, the guy can't consent either. So what happens? <laughs> you know, you know, all this, you know, there's a lot of demonizing of. I feel like that's very demonizing of you know guys. Or guys like like women can drunk and they can't consent, but you know if the same you know if a guy's in the same situation, then it's fine. But I think it's fine either way because uh, basically I don't like how responsibility is is somehow taken away when you're drunk. Um. Like, 
no matter how much you drink, whatever you do while drunk, you are still responsible for those actions. Like, you can't get drunk, drive a car, kill somebody, and then go, oh, but I was drunk. So what? Like, that you decided to... You still decided to do that, knowing the risks of what happened or what would happen if you did and so my whole thing with that is if you're drunk and you consent well you said yes and that's you said yeah even though you were drunk you were, you still made that decision you were still responsible for it and you that's how life works that's what being that's what that's the whole essence of what being an adult is, is that you, no matter what, you don't, like, whatever decision you make, you are responsible for that decision, decision, no matter what the outcome and no matter what the circumstance you make it in. So, it's, it, you don't get to pass it off as, oh, but I, I was drunk. So what? Mm -hmm. It's so like you put yourself in that situation in the first place. You decided to drink in the first place. And you, and knowing that that's a situation you could get yourself into. And you can't just say, you can't just wipe, you know, pass off the responsibility as you just being drunk. I don't know. That doesn't, that doesn't quite fly with me. So, and also they like, 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 um, dangerous language. <laughs> that was another thing that was funny. Uh, like saying, I don't know, saying things in front of women that, I mean, that's like inappropriate. I'm like, I've never been one, as you guys could probably tell, I, I, I don't know if you can tell or not, but. I'm very pro using use of all language, so like I don't believe like anybody should be censored for saying anything. Granted, I may not associate with you for saying that, but I will stand up. I will, you know, stand up for your right to say it. I might hate you afterwards, like, but it's like one of those things. Like, I'm incredibly anti-religion. Um. But I'm not gonna say you can't be religious. Like I'm a like I debate uh, religion often, and I you know I'm very anti you know I'm very against it. But I'm like I don't believe that right should ever be taken away from you to practice it. I think you know in my very personal opinion. I think it's silly, but I think it's. I think you have a right to to I don't like for instance if for some reason the government ever decided to say to to outlaw religion well I'd be completely against that because I believe like like I mean I'd be the first person to stand up for your right to believe in a certain th thing, but then I turn right around and question why you believe it. That's kind of how I am. So I don't know. This is going to be a very ranty vlog, and I'm hopefully going to end it under an hour. Um, so yeah, sorry for the very ranty vlog, but <laughs> it's been an interesting couple of days. So. I will hope to see you guys comment. I'm looking forward to your comments in the next vlog. And, and until then, bye.